Eight-year-old boy celebrates after beating stage four brain cancer. Life is very uncertain and no one can predict about the future. Suppose if you fall down from stairs then in severe cases you would end up with some bruises and broken bones. Or if someone goes to see the doctor for some routine checkup and discover about some fatal disease. Obviously, this shocking news will break down the spirit of very young nerves of an adult also. Then what would you expect a child to react in such a situation? Let's start our inspirational story of today. The story is about an 8 years old Cameron Scott. Like all other children, he was a huge fan of superheroes. A Batman was his most favorite among all superheroes. Cameron's parents told this in an interview when they asked about daily activities of Cameron. Children used to have injuries off and on, same is the case with the little Cameron. One day he fell down from the stairs and he kept on complaining about the backache for a few days. When his parents, Tamika and Wendell Scott, took him to the hospital for MRI, they asked him to go for another scan as doctors were satisfied with the report. His mother said it was an out-of-the-body experience. Their family was traumatized when doctors revealed that Cameron had been suffering from a fourth-stage brain tumor, and this tumor has traveled from his brain to his spine. It's very rare for any cancer patient to survive from that stage. Anyhow, doctors from St. Jude Children's Research Hospital fully supported them and performed a complicated surgery which took four hours to remove the tumor. After recovering from the surgery, doctors suggested targeted radiation and chemotherapy to eliminate the tumor cell completely from his body. And now, after one and a half years of treatment, Cameron is absolutely fine and has become the superhero of his father. To celebrate the well-being of Cameron, his entire family, including his parents and five siblings, went for a trip to Legoland Florida Resort. When Cameron was asked about his experience of treatment, he said that he's feeling amazing and feeling like he has been through everything successfully. In the end, we want to acknowledge the good work of St. Judas. Cameron's parents never had to pay for his treatment at the hospital.